Today we will be going over issuing a bond at par. Issued at par. This occurs when the market rate and the stated rate are the same. The bond is issued at its face value and nothing less or more. Interest expense equals the cash payment. In this practice problem, Bella Beauty issued a 500,000 5% five-year bonds payable at par on January 1st with interest payable annually on December 31st of each year. What is the entry to record the bond on January 1st? To record the initial bond, we would debit cash of 500,000, because that is how much we are receiving, and credit bonds payable for 500,000. That's how much we will eventually pay them back. In the same problem, the next question asks, what is the entry to record the interest payment on December 31st? We would debit interest expense for $25,000 and credit cash for $25,000. We got the $25,000 by doing 5% times $500,000. Because they are paying annually and that's an annual interest rate, there's no conversions needed. The next one asks, what is the entry to record the payment of bond on January 1st? We would debit bonds payable because we are removing that off our books and credit cash because we are paying it. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what accounting class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson Building. You will find all the details you need to know about these services on our website, www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. You may schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online, or just drop in during any of our open business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.